sticking with Liberty Sports, leaving your home and moving to another country would be a scary situation for most people. New language, new foods, new culture, it can be a hard transition. Two track athletes are living that challenge right now as they experience life in the U.S. for the first time. Life in the U.S. is very different than life in Kenya. That is an understatement, yet also a reality for a pair of Liberty University runners. Staline Kurgat and Titus Koech are freshmen from Eldoret, Kenya. Earlier this year, they left their homes, families, and culture behind to come to Lynchburg, Virginia. It's definitely a shock to them. Uh, it's a culture shock. Uh, Life over there is so simple. I grew up in a village, so when I came here, like everything was totally different. I used to just watch America in just like TV, you know, and yeah, I couldn't believe the first time when I came to US because everything was like, I, I couldn't believe like I'm seeing things in reality. I thought that I'm dreaming. It may seem like a dream, but that doesn't mean it's been easy. Kurgat and Koech have had to learn an entire new way of life on the fly. And that has made for some challenges. Meeting with white people, that was my first I think, because I never stayed like with white people for like one minute and again. So it was so challenging because being surrounded by a thousand people, white people, being alone, like it is somehow crazy. I was not expecting like one day I will see snow. Yeah, but I saw it. Yeah, it's not favorable to me. It's actually unfriendly. Weather is unfriendly to me because Kenya is like, I think Kenya is 70 something now. So anything below 65 to me is cold. And that's not even mentioning the difference in food. There is some food that I've never eaten since I came to US. Uh, there is this food called broccoli. I think it's a fruit. Whenever I eat American food tomorrow, I couldn't go for training because my, my body was, I was feeling weak. I don't know why, so I've, I've decided to cook my own food. Fortunately, Kurgat and Koech have coaches and teammates that have come alongside them during this transition, and they also have each other. The two have become roommates, learning about this brand new world together. You can still speak your own language and you feel like you are at home. You eat Kenyan food, you do, you stay Kenyan style, and then you feel like, okay, and that is the time you can run well, that is the time you can study well. And finding a piece of Kenya in this crazy new environment has made their transition just a little easier. Never had broccoli before. Wow, this has been a big change. They may have left Kenya behind for now, but that doesn't mean they're leaving Kenya behind for good. Titus hopes to become a doctor so that he can go back to Kenya someday and start a medical facility.